Guys, the story is not for the faint of heart, so take that in consideration, but disclaimer, warning, view discretion is advised. This is the story of Emma Thompson. Emma was born on March 29, 2005, and would be unalived in a Woodland hospital in Texas on June 27, 2009. Abigail Young, 33, and her boyfriend, Lucas, 27, Cole, was arrested and charged with felony and injury to a child in connection with June 27, the unaliving of four-year-old Emma Thompson. Although her parents are responsible for her unaliving, they are not the only ones responsible. Investigators have uncovered records that Texas Child Protective Services had began an investigation into Emma's care when she was tested positive for genital herpes, but she was not removed from the family home, according to Houston Chronicles. The paper also notes that investigators discovered that Lucas had been investigated three other times in the past for unrelated cases involving another girlfriend's children. This is another unaliving of a defenseless child at the hands of the very people who were supposed to protect her that has authorities and family members asking how and why this happened. This was a systemic progression over months and weeks and days that there was a constituous effort to hide the fact of what was going on in her life. To excuse the bruises, to excuse the silencing of what was going on. Abigail arrived to the hospital. She delayed taking Emma's lifeless body out of the car. She bleached the tub, the faucets, the drains, the walls, and the doors and she had washed Emma's body. Abigail told investigators Emma was hurt when she fell out of bed. The statements given by both Abigail and Lucas were inconsistent with the injuries presented. They also noticed the oral and genital herpes. An autopsy was done later of Emma Thompson and the autopsy revealed that Emma had 80 contusions, a severe head laceration, a scalp hemorrhaging, skull fracture, internal bleeding, severe tear and hemorrhaging, to the vagina. The cause of unaliving was blunt force trauma to the abdominal area, which had several internal injuries. Abigail Young was found guilty of reckless endangerment of a child's omission for concealing of what was happening to her child from family. Just 19 months after being sentenced, Abigail came up with parole and her family was stunned, parole is denied. Fortunately, Abigail will come up for parole every year now. She will be released in 2030. Lucas Coe received a sentence of lifetime in prison without the possibility of parole. A law was later created called the Emma Law. It would make any felony first, second, third degree eligible for a five-year offset. The Texas Civil Rights Project argues that such legislation would be adequate to a backdoor attempt to keep people in prison. Guys, and that is the unfortunate story of Emma Thompson. May she rest in peace. But if you like true crime and you like the way I tell them, go ahead and hit the plus button. Also, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care, make good decisions, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys. Love you.